Hi, I hope this is working. Hope you can see me okay and hear me okay. Welcome to a live. I'm excited to be here. We are going to be talking about some tough love today. I'm going to give you some tough love today because I think that usually I'm all sunshine and rainbows and like, you can do it, friends, in five minutes and find one thing to go. And that's awesome. And it works. But sometimes we need a kick in the pants because we just want to jump to the next level. We just want to get a house that's easy to maintain. We just want to get to the finish line as fast as possible. And to do that, it's like sometimes we need a boot camp style. Sometimes we need a little, a little butt kicking. And I love kicking your butt. So I'm going to kick your butt today. And I know that this is coming from a place of love because you're my friends and I want what's best for you. But also, let's get real. Today, we're going to put down the excuses, all the excuses. I don't got the time. I don't get the money. I, I don't, I, I'm not feeling well. Um, what I, my kids don't help. My husband doesn't house. I don't have the space. Putting down all the excuses and we're going to pick up a trash bag and a donation box and we're going to talk about things that are leaving your house and stop junk. We're going to talk about the junk today that's in your house, the crap you bought from Walmart or Amazon that you shouldn't have, that you don't even use, but getting rid of it makes you feel like, what if maybe, ooh, this feels wasteful. Stop it. We're just like, we're battling today. We're fighting today. And I'm going to teach you guys how to be warriors. So before I really get into this, I want to make sure you can hear me okay and you can see me okay. So just somebody in the, I see all of you. Hello. I see so many of you here. Um, hi, Sherry and Rebecca and Jennifer and Pa Mom. Hello, uh, Mary from uh, just all of you from all over the place. I love this. Um, Canadians are here too. Let me know that you can hear me. I think you can. April says yes. So I'm, oh, Holly, thank you. You could hear me and you could see me because I'm not great with technology. You think somebody who does this for a living would be better. I'm never going to be better. I'm always going to suck. I'm a dinosaur over here. So uh, from Portugal, Sophia, hello and welcome. Okay, this is really exciting. Let's, let's, let's jump right into some hard truths here. If every day you're losing things, like every day there's like something you can't find. If every day you feel frustrated by the piles and the mess, if every day you feel like you can never catch up on the laundry or it's like, man, you are battling. You are in a, you're battling. You're fighting your home and it's winning. Your clutter and your stuff is now beating you. It's now in charge of you. It's now in control of you. And you're spending your time managing the mess. And I can say this because I was there and there are days I go back there, but th it was like every day for me looking for stuff, the panic, we just moved. And I feel this now all over again, because there are things that haven't been unpacked and things are just kind of all over the place. And it sucks. And this is what it was like when I was living with excess, when I was living with disorganization. Every day I was fighting my house and I was stuff shuffling and just managing the mess. And I'm going to be honest, I was miserable with my husband and children. I was miserable with myself. And I really just wanted to like escape to Mexico or whatever, go on. Like just, I daydreamed about either getting some sort of illness that wasn't like super bad, but bad enough to put me in the hospital. You know what I mean? If you've ever felt this way, maybe it's just me, but I, I, I dreamed about that. Or just like, where'd you go, Bernadette? Excellent book, by the way. But just like bouncing in the middle of the night with a suitcase so that I just could escape the never ending crap. But guess what? You don't got to do that. You don't got to throw yourself down the stairs, friends. You don't, you don't have to. We just learned to fight back. I'm going to teach you to be a warrior and to fight for your home and to fight for your space and to fight for a life that feels easier. Because with all these modern technologies, we have dishwashers and we have washing machines and we have robot vacuums. For some freaking reason, it's harder than ever to keep our house tidy and under control. And here's the, here's the tough love and here's the truth. You have too much stuff. 
You've been manipulated. We've all been, I've been manipulated into buying stuff that's going to solve our problems and gadgets that are going to help us clean and things that are going to make us happier. And it all ends up being this suffocating, disgusting mess where we can't find anything and yet everything feels important. So let's get really real right now. Let's get, oh my, this is so sweet of you. Don't do this. You don't have to do this. This is so sweet. You've been up all night decluttering your office and shredding your junk mail. You have the kind of mind where you can't be productive unless your workspace is organized. Yeah, I feel you. And I feel exactly the same way right now because, because we're moving, everything's everywhere. I feel like my ADHD is like worse than ever because everywhere I look, there's something that has to be done. And I'm spinning like a top. And I remember getting over this years ago by just like slowly picking away at it. But I don't want to slowly pick away at it anymore. I want to just jump to the finish line. And I know you might feel that same way. And yeah, it doesn't happen overnight. But we can fight hard to get there quicker. So here's some real, real, real tough love for you guys. Let's just get, let's just jump right into it. Like actual clutter that needs to leave today. If you have empty boxes in your house of something you've bought more than a few weeks ago, and it isn't like an, an iPhone, like a phone or a tablet or a laptop box, if it's a vacuum cleaner box, if it's any box for something, I don't care. You do not need the box for the warranty Guys, that box is leaving right this. I don't care how good of a box it is. What are you literally putting things in your home? That's the trash packaging. We all do this. We all do this. I don't care how neatly it's organized. That space should be for something else. So boxes are leaving today. Look at me. You do not need the box for a warranty. Let me know in the comments below if you have empty boxes. You may have tech boxes. Yeah. She's like, I have a million tech boxes. Listen, if it's the current phone that you're using, yeah, when you upgrade, you can sell that phone. It's worth more if you have the box. If it's like two phones ago, what? the boxes are leaving. If it's stereo, but stop it. Stop. If it's a vacuum box, that sucker's huge. It's 100% leaving. The vacuum box is leaving, friends. It's going right this minute. That This is such an easy thing that you can declutter immediately because it doesn't really take a lot of like, it's not like you're emotionally attached to it. If you are, run to therapy. Did I say that? But fine. Stop it. The boxes are leaving. I don't care if it's a good box. Julie, Julie, we are not saving good boxes. We do not have the space. You and, and everything that you keep isn't just, even if you have a giant mansion, it's something you have to remember that you own. It's something it's always in your mind because your mind is constantly keeping track of the inventory of your stuff. And so stuff that's not useful to you is stealing not just your space, but your mental energy as well. So the empty boxes are leaving. Here, we're moving on. Themed sheets. I have like princess sheets from my kid's room from like when she was five. Why? Why? I have superhero sheets gone. If, you're, if your kids have outgrown this, if it's from their childhood bedrooms, you have enough other sheet sets. If everyone's vomiting at the same time, I promise you'll be okay. We have too much bedding. Houses today have too much bedding. We can't, they're shoved everywhere. There's extra blankets and pillows. We get new pillows. We keep the old nasty ones for some reason. What? This feels very hard to let go of this type of stuff, but I want you to just fill a bag right now and take it to your car. They're leaving. They're leaving today because oh, grandkids, don't you dare talk about your grandkids are going to want those sheet sets. We can't keep everything. We, we can't keep everything. I'm giving you real solutions here because if you're watching Clutterbug, also... You probably want to declare your home or you just like my weirdness. 
Either way, I love you so much. But if it's because you're really sick of your home, it's time to be a warrior. It's time to step up and do hard things. It's time to say, I'm more important than the junk in this house, and I'm going to put down the excuses. We talked about that earlier. My grandkids might like these princess sheets is an excuse. It's an excuse. And if we make excuses about every single thing, we can. We can make excuses about everything. We can make excuses about the vacuum cleaner box. This is why we have issues. This is why we're drowning. This is why our heart, our house is hard to maintain. And yeah, you might think, well, this one box is no big deal. And these sheets are no big deal. And those extra towels are no big deal. It all adds up to a big freaking deal. And there's no magic solution or wand that you're going to like, woo, to make you're not going to buy your way out of this problem with more storage containers. You're going to take stuff to your car right now and put stuff at the curb right now. And you're going to be ruthless because you are fighting a battle. You are at war with the clutter in your home. And who are you going to make win? Because at the end of the day, this is your stuff. You brought it into this house. You agreed to have it come into this house. Now you're in charge of this stuff and you're letting it walk all over you. You are people pleasing junk. And it is literally taking advantage of you. Are you strong enough? Are you brave enough to look at it differently and do it's tough. It's hard letting it go. I've cried my eyeballs out about decluttering and during the journey. It it is. It's a scary thing, but we can do scary things. You can do scary things because you deserve a home that isn't hard, that you don't have to battle. It's time to win the war. Let's talk about your kitchen. Guys, let's talk about your kitchen. If you feel like you don't have enough space, if you feel like it's hard, if it's always the counters always cluttered and you're like, what? I don't have a place to put some of this stuff. This is bonka donks. I need a bigger kitchen. I need more space. If you have more than one drawer dedicated to spatulas, gadgets, peelers, your potato masher, all of those, one drawer. If it's in more than one drawer, you need to declutter it down to one drawer. I know this is tough, but imagine, imagine an extra drawer in your kitchen and the possibilities for that. Maybe it's your kid's artwork and homework stuff and a homework station that's always all over the place. Maybe it's, I don't know, all the paperwork that you tend to pile and menus, whatever it is. Look at your countertops. What? Maybe it's tools, right? Because you're always like doing little projects and you have no place for those tools. You have the space in your kitchen. You're wasting it with junk consolidate, declutter, give yourself a limit, and now give yourself more space. Okay. If you have more than one cabinet for mugs, including travel mugs, I'm not talking a double cabinet, friend, a one cabinet. You should have like one shelf just for coffee mugs, one shelf for maybe like coffee travel mugs, thermoses type things, and then maybe the top for water bottles or extra water bottles. If you if you have more than one shelf of mugs, I'm I'm calling you out and I'm giving you some tough love. That's ridiculous and it's excessive and you need the space for something that's way better. If you have more than one cabinet for your glasses, yeah, that includes wine glasses. So like drinking glasses, you may have the small ones and you have a whole shelf for like the taller ones and then one for like your fancy alcohol beverages glasses. More than that, no. Give yourself a limit. You need limits. And, and the limit means you have to make those hard decisions about what stays and what goes. But now you've freed up a whole other cabinet, maybe two in your kitchen. You can like have a fancy spice cupboard. You can have more spots for your food or for the things that you're just like, why is this so jammed and hard to get to all the time? Why can't I see my baking supplies? Because you're wasting the space with junk. And I say junk, not lightly. Junk, it might be good. It might be good stuff. But if you're not using it and it's taking up excess space in your home, it's junk to you. 
And it's time that you start looking at it like that because you're in a battle, friends. You're fighting. You're at war. And every extra mug and every extra wine glass you don't use and every extra sheet and face cloth. And it's all things that is casualties of this war, friend. Put them out of their misery so that you can be happier and have the home that you really want. Juliet has crystal and china from your 1985 wedding never used. You want to donate it or garage sale? Yeah, take pictures right now and put it on Facebook Marketplace. I would do that. See if somebody wants to buy it. Odds are probably not. This stuff used to be china and crystal it used to be like this thing. It was like luxury, right? It was showing of, it was like fancy and you felt really good, but nobody, times are changing. We're in a different phase of our lives. Nobody uses this stuff anymore and nobody really wants it. And yes, that's sad, but at the end of the day, listen, Juliet, I'm going to tell you something. The minute it leaves your house, you'll never think of it again. Never. It's not even going to dawn on you. Oh, I wish I had, you will forget you even owned it and you will have all that space for something else, for something that right now could be clutter on your surfaces. The stuff that's on your surfaces is the stuff that needs a home. That's not junk and clutter. That's the stuff you're using. You're just not putting it away because you don't have a spot that's easy to put it away. And the, and the reason it's not easy to put away is because it's filled with junk. It's filled with junk. Okay. So yes, uh, with the internet, we're not his history keepers anymore. The kids don't want it. Isn't this sad? It's sad, but it's true. I mean, even my generation, this is going to, please hold on to your pants. I'd probably rather like a piece of furniture from Ikea than I would like an antique from my grandmother's house. I can't believe I just said that. But, but I want, I, I don't love the look of that ornate would some people do? I don't. So I don't want to feel burdened and this obligation to keep it. Ask your kids if they want these things in your home. And if they say no, respect that. They're not going to change their mind. That's not their aesthetic. And you don't need to be the keeper of it for them in case one time they come to their senses. They're not going to because that's just not their thing. And that's okay. Guys, it's, it's okay. But in the meantime, you got to break up with your junk. Judith, you got to break up with your junk. You know what you got to be? You got to be a freaking warrior against your junk. You got to kick its freaking butt. You got to go to war. You got to fight for your home because you deserve it and you have too much and it's making every day harder. That's what it's doing. It's making every freaking day harder and you deserve it to be easier. And so tough love. The spatulas, the extra things, one drawer, one drawer, one, one cabinet for mugs and coffee and travel mugs. That's your limit. I want to see like one shelf for rolled towels and maybe one for beach towels. If you got more than that, you have too many. Limit, limit yourself. And this goes for Costco purchases as well. Where does the toilet paper and extra cases of pop from Costco and paper towels and Kleenexes, does it have a home or is it spilling out into your living space? If you're stacking cases of pop in the corner and you're stacking toilet paper in the corner somewhere in your home, stop it. You're not buying it in bulk anymore. You go to the grocery store enough or what is going to leave your house to make room for that? The corners and piles and shoving is not a home. And for you to have a house that feels effortless, everything needs like a legit home. It needs, oh yes, Rebecca goes in the garage, shelf, no room indoors. Love this. Give yourself a dedicated shelf. Judy, your mom still has stuff from her bridal shower that she never used in 1965. She got married. That's older than you. What the what? Is your head about to explode? Yeah. And you know what's the saddest thing is that when we're not doing like the Swedish death cleaning, I have aging parents. It, my, my grandparents, some of them are still alive as well. And I just look at their houses and I think, is this going to be my problem? 
And that's terrifying for me. And I know my parents would never want to burden me with their extra stuff, but I don't think they're thinking about that. And it isn't just like when you're like on your deathbed 95 that you should start thinking about that. You should start thinking about that every day because I could get hit by a bus tomorrow. Am I burdening my family with junk that I should have let go of that I'm just like, meh, you know, someday I'll deal with it. That's not fair. That's not fair. It's not fair to them, but it certainly also isn't fair to me. And it isn't fair to tomorrow me that I keep putting these burdens on. I'm going to do it later. 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 Man, that's so many to-do lists I've put on tomorrow's cast. I'm not going to have more free time tomorrow. It's time to stand up right now and fight today. And I want you to fill a trash bag and I want you to take stuff. If you don't have a box for donation, just throw it in the back of your car. Throw it in your trunk. Throw it in the back of your minivan. Because when you go to Goodwill anyways, they have one of those trolleys. They don't care if it's in bags. They're going to load it out. They don't care if it's in boxes. They're going to put it in their little like cardy thing anyways. Open up the back of your trunk and just start taking stuff out while you feel that fire. While you feel like a warrior. Get some face paint. Ladies, let's get some face paint. We are badass Vikings. I'm going to now be demonetized. I swear doesn't matter. I'm fired up about this because I'm looking at my own house and my own garage and I just moved and I'm like, enough is enough. Enough is enough. It's just stuff, Lisa. It's just stuff. And sometimes, listen, why I wanted to do this live? Because sometimes we need a little tough love in actual directions and like lists. This is leaving, this is leaving, this is leaving, this is leaving. This is leaving. And sometimes you need someone to boss you around. You love unhinged guests. I feel unhinged. Wait, that was the wrong one. I feel a little poppy seed. I feel unhinged today because you know why? I'm fired up about my garage right now. I can't even. I was like, I bought this house. I was like, I could park two vehicles in this garage. I can't even walk in the garage. And the excuse is I just moved in two weeks ago. The reality is I've been avoiding it like the plague because it's overwhelming and it's like, I don't know where to start. And I'm like, a lot of this is junk. I shouldn't have moved in the first, first place. Okay. Mistakes were made. Cass, put your money where your mouth is and fight for the fact that you want to park in your garage and fill up a bag and fill up your van and have no regrets. Trust your gut. If you're not sure if you should keep something or not, if you're like, you should not keep it. If it isn't a hard yes, it's a hard no. It's got to go. So this is what I want to tell you. If you like this, if you like Cass yelling at you about crap that needs to leave, I want you to join me for the all-day declutter. It's coming up September. I'm here for it. Saturday, September 23rd. If you're part of the Take Your House Pack group, this is included. It's, I'm doing tough love this day. And Dawn from The Minimal Mom and Dana from A Slob Comes Clean, we are taking turns to like live with you as your clutter coaches, along with like 10,000 other people. We are just spending six hours filling bags and boxes. And it's like a fire under our butts. And I'm, I cry. I cry every all day declutter, but this is the day and it's coming up and I want to see you there because you will let go of so much more when you have the accountability that you're with somebody, right? And when you have a coach telling you exactly what is leaving. So today, while you're watching this, extra mugs are leaving, boxes are leaving, boxes are leaving today. I want you to write this down while you're watching this, boxes, mugs, and you're going to get your extra spatulas and all those things down to one drawer. You're going to take action today and it's going to feel freaking amazing. It's going to feel amazing. You can do this because you are fighting and you deserve this. Now, if you're not part of the Take Your House Back group, it's on sale now for just $84. It's not just the all day declutter. It's like a course and a bunch of things and it's pretty amazeballs. Um, I know most of you are already part of this, but the sale ends in four days. So I wanted to tell you about it because, because sometimes we can do it on our own. And sometimes we can do it just by watching YouTube videos or reading a book on decluttering. And sometimes we need somebody beside us to hold our hand, 
to have a plan and to kick us in the pants. And that person can't be our husband because, because we want to kick them in the pants. You know what I'm saying? So here, I'm going to put this link. If you want to, there is zero pressure. I'm not here to like bleh, but I have to tell you the Take Your House Back course is on sale for just $84 until Monday. And then the price goes up. So you only have a couple of days to join. And we're going to, we're, we're going to kick butt. You don't have to, we're still going to do butt kicking here, but over there we have a full day on Saturday. So again, I just wanted to tell you about that all day. I keep forgetting what day it is because ADHD huh? live all day declutter Saturday, September 23rd. You have to have garbage bags. You have to have boxes and you have to have water and you're going to be exhausted and your muscles are going to be sore. And it's, it's, I'm not going to lie. It's horrible. It's not, it's, it's fun, but it's not fun because it's emotional and it's hard work and you're going to be sweating and you're going to be just like getting stuff out of your house, but you're not going to be making a mess and you're not going to be sorting into piles and you're not going to be like shuffling stuff around. Things are going to be leaving. You are a warrior that day and all day. It's an all day boot camp where you fight for your home. Because right now the clutter is winning and it's time for you to take back control. You got this. The only thing between you and a house that feels easy is your own fear. It isn't laziness because it's not hard work to grab a bag and put stuff in it. It's fear. It's anxiety about making a mistake or doing it wrong or what if and all the excuses. And it's like hand wringing. It's fear. You don't have to be afraid. You are a badass. Again, totally demonetized. You have, the, you are more important than the junk from Walmart. Those half burned out candles. You don't really like the scent. Why are they in your house? They're leaving. The boxes are leaving. The extra glasses are leaving. Unless you're having some sort of wine party where everybody's drinking at all times, you don't need more than eight wine glasses. You, you don't need, buy. When's the last time you had a martini? Be honest with me in the comments right now. When is the last time you had a martini? If it's been more than a year, your martini glasses are leaving. You're not going to make a martini. What are you, James Bond? The glasses are leaving your house. And all of these things, all of these things are going to add up to an easier house. You have so much expired medication in your bathroom closet, cough syrup, antacids, uh, uh, pain relievers. What? Leaving. They're leaving. All those lotions you got, those cheap Walmart baskets that your mother-in-law got you for a Christmas gift, you're not going to use those lotions. You don't even like those lotions. They're leaving today. And I don't care if they're half used, put them in the trash. And I know this feels wrong because you want to donate everything and you want to make sure nothing's going to waste, but it's wasting your space and it's making you miserable. And now is not the time to people please anyone. You are fighting you are fighting. You are at war. You are a freaking warrior. And we don't, warriors don't people please. Warriors kick butt. And that's what you're doing. And I want you to put down all the stuff that everyone has told you. If something's worth doing, it's worth doing right. And all the, you should probably don't, don't do this. Make sure you're, Jeep. you're not in my house. You're not here right now. It's me fighting the clutter and I'm about to win. That's all I want you to tell yourself you deserve this. You guys, you deserve this. And I know there's a ton of you dump the meds. Yeah. Or you can, you know what, load them up and take them to shoppers drug mart. They'll take the meds old paint cans, your hardware stores. A lot of them, we have a home hardware here. They will take the old paint cans or drop them off at the dump. I took so many loads to the dump. My van was bursting. Okay. I went to the dump. It was not a big deal. It was $5 to unload so much crap. It was not, it was a nothing burger. And I got to put the, I was like, I have paint cans. I was like, that goes in this bay. That goes in the wasteful. This goes here. I was like, I have some metal. I just kept going to the dump. It felt so good. I got a Starbucks on the way. I treated myself because you know what? I'm doing amazing warrior work and I, were, I deserve a Starbucks. And I let go of so much and it felt amazing. Do this. Do this. No. No, no.
No, you can keep 10. If there's more than that, I don't care what you could do with them. You could maybe put needles in them and you could do your, you could organize one day though. All that stuff like, I'm going to do something wonderful with this stuff. I'm going to make a quilt. I'm going to someday fix this, mend this, refinish this. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I, you pride yourself on being resourceful. And in the meantime, you don't have space on your counter to make a sandwich. All this stuff, these good intentions, in your mind, it's making you feel good about yourself. In the reality, the clutter is making you miserable every single day. And I know it feels wrong. And I know it feels like it goes against everything that makes you you sometimes. At the end of the day, what matters is that it's easy to maintain your home and that you're proud of it. You're proud of it. No, clean is beautiful. doesn't matter about how it's renovated. Do you walk in the space and think, oh, this feels good? Or do you walk into your kitchen or your living room and think, I have so much to do. There's so, oh, I got to deal. I got to do this and I got to do this. If the, If it's the latter, you're at war. Then you got to be a warrior and you got to do hard things. And there will be casualties of this war. And some of those casualties will be heartbreaking. But at the end of the day, you will win and you will get to the other side. And maybe you don't believe that that's possible for you, but I know that that's possible for you. I know you deserve this. You deserve to wake up tomorrow morning on a Saturday and go downstairs or go into your kitchen and do this. <sighs> feels good. It's clean. It's tidy. And you don't have to work to get there. You don't have to like clean it first before you get to enjoy it or spend hours tidying all day. If, if that's your reality right now, it's because you have too much stuff and stop. And we all do. And you're not alone. And it's hard for all of us, but we can do this together as a team. We can take our house back. As a team, we can fight for each other. And when we start to feel it, oh, I don't know, we can all support each other. And that's what the Take Your House Back is all about. It's, it's thousands of people coming together who are sick and tired of the battle and who just want to win. And we can help each other fight as a team together. So listen, yep, Giselle, we're putting down the fantasy. I, I, I wish, I wish we could be like we, and you, you know what the worst thing is? There are some people out there who seem to be managing this all. We see this on social media and they've got like, oh, Rose and everything's all perfect. And you're like, I, I just need to work harder. I just need to get more organized. I just need to like prioritize this. I just need to be a different, better, more productive person. That's a lie. You are perfect just the way you are. You are working hard enough. Your systems and your house is not working for you. Your stuff is not working for you. Shelly, oh, thank you. You don't have to do that. That is, but you do. You deserve better. You deserve better. And those empty pill bottles are not worth it. You are worth way more. The crap you bought from Walmart, the stuff you bought from Amazon, I don't care. I don't care. The things your people have given you, hand-me-downs that you've got, there's no guilt here. We're not people pleasing. You are the top priority, your peace of mind and your happiness. And if you have to throw all of it in the trash, because that's all you have the capability of doing. And even the thought of going to the donation center feels like too much. Throw it in the trash. I've done it. I do it. I, I feel no shame anymore in that because I know I'm putting myself and my family first. And when things are under control, then I can do better. Do you want to know something very exciting? I'm recycling like a champ right now, like a like a crazy champ for the first time in my life. I now have dedicated spots for all the different types of recycling that is easy to access and I am doing it. 
I didn't have, it wasn't easy before because I had too much excess. I cleared everything out underneath my sink. I have not even a cleaning supply under there. And I found other homes for those things so that I can have separate and different recycling bins because that needed to be, that had to take precedent. I could walk a little bit to get cleaning supplies and I'm being a better person. But guess what? A lot of those cleaning supplies had to go in the trash to make that happen. You have to sometimes just do good enough to get to better. Okay? We, we, we just embrace good enough. We do things crappy. We take shortcuts. We're not perfect so that we can get to a place where we can be so much better, not just for one day, but for the rest of our lives. We got to dig ourselves out. We have to unbury ourselves. We have to fight this war. Rip off that Band-Aid. You got this. The all-day declutter are only available in the Take Your House Back course. Yeah, so if you're part of the Take Your House Back course and it is expired, it's only $10 to rejoin, 10 bucks to rejoin. But right now it is $84 on sale just until Monday. I think we have payment plans. Don't quote me on this, but I think we have payment plans too. So you can pay like a little bit every month. It also has a money back guarantee. Seriously, if you, if this doesn't work for you, if this doesn't change your life, if this doesn't motivate you, if this doesn't get you to where you want to go, you just ask for a refund. No questions asked. We will give you your money back because it's not about the money. It's not about the money. And it seems like, well, why are you charging money? Cass, guess what? Because if it was for free, you wouldn't take it serious. And, and we are dedicating a ton of time to be in there. And we couldn't do that if it wasn't, if we weren't earning something out of that because we got to earn a living. So we're charging the least amount of money that we possibly can to give you the most that we possibly can. We're in there weekly doing lives. We're motivating you. We're doing the all day declutters. You have access to all the old all day declutters. I a hundred percent believe in this course and I don't sell you a lot of crap because I feel like so gross doing that. But, um, Yeah. Can I listen to this later? Yeah, this uh, this is going to speak. You can listen to this as many times as you want. So I'm going to, I've been enamoring at you forever. Uh, but <laughs> um, so I'm going to, I'm going to zip it. But here's what I want from you today. Empty boxes, please. Empty boxes are leaving. Fight my warriors. Fight for your home. They are leaving. And I want you to get down to one cabinet not a double cabinet, a one cabinet for like coffee mugs and coffee type drinks and one drawer for spatulas, kitchen gadgets, peelers, ice cream scoops, potato masher, one drawer. That's, that's tough, but you can do this. You can do this. Oh, thank you. Listen, stop. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. You always have to remind yourself that you can't take your belongings with you when you die and you don't want to burden your kids with those things later. Yeah. If this, if this is what you need to tell yourself while you're ruthlessly kicking your clutters, butt, while you're fighting for your home, then you tell yourself this, you tell yourself whatever it takes because you deserve it. And you know what? It feels so weird to say, but like, I want you right now while you're watching this to say, I deserve a clean house. Say it out loud. I don't know why this makes me like emotional. Like, why don't we believe this? Why do we let the crap control us and make us feel bad about ourselves? Why is it so hard to stand up and say, I am literally the number one person in my life. I am. Yeah. Above your kids, above your spouse, you. Because if you're not happy, no one's happy. Because if you're not at a place where you feel peace and serenity and in control, no one else in your family is going to feel that from you because you are the leader. You are the leader. So lead. So lead fight, stand up, take control. It's just crap. 90% of it was made in a factory in China and it's junk. It's junk. So throw it in the garbage. Why does this make us feel so bad? 
It's ridiculous. Throw it in the garbage. You will never think about it again and move on with a life that is easier. Every single thing that leaves your house will make your life easier for you, for your family, for your kids after you're gone, just all of it. I know it feels wrong. And there are some of you who are like, I'm, I would never do that. I, I, You know what? I want that for you. But if you're not ready, you're not ready. But if you are ready, join us. Join us. Okay. I'm going to put the link again in the Take Your House Back. Thank you guys for the Take Your House Back course. It's only on sale till Monday. I hope you join. I want this for you so badly. Man. Okay. Why am I such a crybaby? I also cry during the all-day declutter. Just to let you know, I get emotional. I scream about socks and I cry about empty cardboard boxes. <laughs> I have issues. Okay. Love you guys. See you soon. I'm such a crybaby.